Hi friends. Today we're going to be sharing yet another character who God sheltered in place at various points of his life. This character had humble beginnings as a little shepherd boy and grew into a mighty king of God's people. He was on the run from a vengeful king and other times he was attacked by wild beasts like a lion or a bear as he protected his flock. Of course, by now, you know, I'm talking about David and he is one of the favorites in scripture. In fact, God even said in his own words, here is a man after my own heart. And I believe there are many Psalms that have brought us comfort and have brought us blessings as we have sheltered in place in different points of our lives, whether it be through this pandemic or whether it be when we're stressed and need to be blessed. And there's that Psalm that just comforts us, whether it be when we're taking a new journey or, or a leap of faith, or whether it be where we have lost a loved one and are grieving at their service. And somebody reads this particular Psalm. Yes, today's Psalm is a favorite of many. And as we are still sheltered in place, I'd like to share these words with you as David shares about our great shepherd, Jesus. In fact, I'm reading from Psalm 23. Let's listen to these wonderful words. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Friends, that is my hope for each one of us here today, that one day we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. But for right now, may the Lord dwell in your house. May the Lord dwell in your temple, in your heart, and in your thoughts. And may you look to him as your good shepherd, as you shelter in place with Jesus Christ.